In this video, we'll go over using the Team App in Service Autopilot. Our Team App is a great solution to help field teams get jobs done. It's very simple and easy to use and available for both Apple and Android devices. It will track payroll time, such as clocking in for the day, lunch, and breaks. It will also track time spent on the job and drive time. You'll get push notifications on your device for daily schedule changes and other things that happen. On the app, you can take pictures, send and receive comments, add products and services, and fill out forms. So let's take a look at how to use the Team app. First of all, any mobile user or full user can log into the app. To see jobs on the app, make sure you have the job dispatched to the correct user on the current day, uh, because the Team app will only show the current day's jobs. Or if the job is assigned to a team, make sure the mobile user is in that team. So once you have the app, you can log in with your username and password. If you have any products on your jobs, they'll appear on your load list. Once you're ready to clock in, tap Start Day, which clocks you in for the day. You'll be able to edit who is on your team for the day if you need to. Then tap I'm ready to get started to clock in. It brings you to a map and a list of your jobs. You can adjust with your fingers and also swipe through your jobs. To map to your first job, select the address, and it'll give you directions to the job site. Once you're at the property, you can start work at the job site. Tap Start Work. If you have required job notes, those will appear, and you'll need to check them off to verify that you read them. Pull up on the job to see the job site detail. A timer will let you know how much time is left based on budgeted time and the number of workers on your team. You can add additional services if necessary. If you click edit next to the service, you can add products to the service as well. You can also skip the job, however, it will prompt you to leave a comment explaining why. Let's say you're putting mulch down. You can click Edit and Products and Add a Product and adjust the quantity if you need to. In order to continue though, you'll need to add a comment as to why you're adding or adjusting the product amount. Back in the office on the dispatch board, that comment will appear so that someone monitoring the dispatch board can check to make sure it invoices correctly. Or if it should not be invoiced, that you turn the invoice settings off. You can also take pictures for the service. Tap the camera icon. To take a picture of the service, tap the plus button under the service name. To take a property photo, tap the plus button under the address of the property. Once you take a photo, you'll be able to set that photo as the profile picture if you need to. This way, whenever you go back to that property, it will be saved as the profile picture so that other teams will know where the property is if they pull up to it. Back on the job site, there's a couple other things you can do, such as pause the service if necessary. Again, it will prompt you to leave a note. And then at the bottom, you'll be able to see your job notes, and you can also leave additional job comments if you need to, and you can also receive them as well. Once the job at the property is finished, you can tap Complete Work. This will take you to the review job screen where you can adjust the start time and the time spent on each service if there are multiple services. You can also adjust the quantity of services and products if you need to and review any job notes on the job. But once you're done, tap submit time and it will take you to the next job. On the map, you'll see that that job has turned gray, and the other jobs that need to be completed will be green. 
as you do other things in the app, you'll also see other color changes as well. The top right icon, coffee cup, when you tap on it will allow you to clock into break or to lunch. You can also adjust some of the other map icons here. Tapping this one will change it from regular view to satellite view. And the arrow will bring you back to the current location. On the top left side, you also have a menu, which allows you to manage your team. If you need to clock additional resources into your team, or if you need to remove other resources from your team. Also in the menu, you have forms that are available. So for example, if you needed to fill out a form for one of the job sites, you could add a form and fill it out. Once you're done with all your jobs for the day and ready to clock out, you can tap the finish day button to finish your day and this will clock you out for the day. Back in the office in the timesheets list, you'll see the drive time records created between your clock in times and that's using the team app and service autopilot. Again, it's a great solution for teams doing work in the field, allowing you to track time, make comments, take pictures, fill out forms, and get your day's work done quickly and efficiently.